Welcome back, Egyptology lovers. Today we're discussing the Shapti. I made a post about Shaptis from the last one, so this is now a video about them. So I made this little Shapti here. Uh, it's made out of uh, this clay molding from this dollar store. You just mix, uh, design it, and I'll do a time lapse for it as well so you could see. And I made it androgynous, so it's male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, you could see from here, uh, there's a wig on top, there's some uh, little beads on the back, also crossed arms holding the lotus flower for rejuvenation or re uh, given light, basically. I put in some text as well, so this is pretty accurate text, and at the end I've left the name, so whoever gets this for a giveaway, they'll have their name written there, and I could kind of read you what that is. So it says here, if you know this from the other uh, stellas that I have translated, it's pretty much the same. So a king gives offering to Osiris, foremost of Westerners, the great god, lord of Abju or Abydos, forever, voice offering of bread, beer, ox and fowl or bird, alabaster, which is in the middle, linen, and that's plural, the three lines means there's a lot of them, incense and ointment, all things good and pure on which the god lives, so right there, lives, and then whoever wins it, their name, living, for eternity and forever. So there you go. This is the Shapti that I'm going to do for a giveaway. On the bottom here, I have the Anth symbol and the Tiet, which are uh, symbols for protection. Um, on the back here, I've basically done the the pet, very crudely really, the pet sky, uh, or Nut if you like, uh, the goddess of the sky, the stars, which is assuming to be a night sky. That's why I chose the blue for the lapis and a little bit of wave here for the water for the, the earth itself. So the reason we're doing this video is not to tell you about the giveaway for the Shepti, but also to talk about the Book of the Dead of how Sheptis that were in the hundreds sometimes in a royal tomb, or if in a common tomb, commoner, you might have just a few, the Sheptis themselves were used as workmen to rise. You would call upon their name and they would rise and they would work for you in the afterlife. They could do irrigation, make bread, build you a house, pretty much anything you need. And the more you had, the better it was because then you can basically make one work every day. So some pharaohs or even royal ones had 365 of them. So one for each day. So they even knew that even in the afterlife, people got tired. So they cared enough with, about their people. So this is the Shepti. It's going to be a giveaway. Uh, it stands nicely, if you could see. I don't know. There you go. So you can uh, see how it looks like. So we're going to go forward here and show you a little bit about the Book of the Dead. This is my Book of the Dead. Uh, I've done this before in the videos. What I've done is I've... Uh, this is a... Uh, you can buy this online, a Book of the Dead. But it was written in English, so it's been translated, but it's never been divided. So my job is there are 37 plates. This is plate number. Um, let me see where it is, the plate. Oh, it's right over here. So this is plate number 33, and I've divided all the texts of plate number 33. But today I'm going to discuss in this particular plate, which is chapter 155, 151, it has many things. So I'll show you here. Uh, for example, it has the, uh, uh, the raw... The, the spirit, then you have the four sons of Horus. They're pretty much scattered around the chapter here. You have Anubis right there, uh, or Wepwaret, then you have Anubis over here. Uh, you have a, uh, a prayer to the flame, and you have Isis, and of course you have one of the sons here, Keves Senuef. Now, this is the one I'm going to discuss. This is a Shakti, so it is basically um, a text for the figurine, for its purpose in the afterlife. So Ani had this scroll made for him. He'd bury it with himself and he would read these texts to bring something back to life. So if he's in the afterlife living, he would say, let's say I need somebody to work for me. He'd call upon the Shepti and he would rise. So we're gonna read this text for you. It's very small, really very quick. It's missing some sections, but because it's pretty much made pretty quickly for the author. So this is me dividing the text over here. I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you, do my best to show you where the divisions are because this doesn't really show that well. So we're gonna go ahead and read it. 
And this is a prayer to the Shepti to rise or to do work. So we'll leave the Shepti here so you can see. So this would rise when called upon. And this is what it says over here for the Shepti. Illuminated one. The Osiris Ani. So this is the author, Ani. Vindicated. O Shepti. So this is the word for Shepti. Shepti. So Sha B Sh A B T. Now I want you a little hieroglyphic lessons for those who want to learn. Um, the B is actually supposed to be right behind the vulture. So that should be Shab, and that's the T right there. The T, the bread loaf, and that's Shepti. But it's been placed behind the T. So this was done for aesthetic, so it fits well as well. So just because something isn't written in the right way doesn't mean that it's not a word. It's just you have to position it so it fits well. If you had put the foot over here, you would have no space for the T. So that's a little thing that they do, and it's all over the papyrus books and texts and even on walls. So Shepti, so it could be, this is also a uh, my, could be the word I, so my Shepti, but there's no indication. So we could just say, call it my Shepti if you like. So, oh, my Shepti, since it belongs to Ani. Accounted. If accounted and counted, so there's triple time counted. So he has to be counted on to do the work. So counted, if accounted and counted to do any work while doing so in the God's domain. In the God's domain over here. So that's the end of that section. Now this section is going to divide between this little section down here and that little section up here. These are the same. That's the same word here and there. So, um... So, if obstacles, obstacles are erected, so this is the word erect, so it starts with the C right over here, sit, and it continues on to here. If erected, sorry, if erected, obstacles therein, so in the, in the place of the afterworld, then this man, the Shepti, this man, the Shepti over here, To his duties. And what are his duties? To make, to this, make grow the fields. So his job is to grow in the fields, to make grass grow or food. To flood or fill with water the riverbanks to row in the sands. So what is this basically saying is that he has a job to do. So it starts by saying the illuminated Ani, this is a prayer to him, and now his Shepti is right over here, and now his Shepti is accounted for. He is counted to do, accounted to, uh, by accounting himself and to accounted by the third count, so this is three times, to do any work, so anything is required of Ani to do any work, while doing so in the God's domain, so in the afterlife. So his purpose is in the afterlife to do any type of work. So here are his job tasks. In case there is an obstacle erected therein, which is in the afterlife, this man is to, right, this man over here, is to perform his duties by doing what? To make grow, or this make grow, the fields, so he works in the fields, to flood or fill with water the riverbanks. So during the inundation, they would flood the riverbanks and they would basically plant their seeds and then wait for them to grow. And then to row, so he would take um, Ani on his boat to row in the sands, so the soot, the soot itself was the sands. So that's his job, is to grow food, um, to flood the riverbanks, and to row a boat in which Ani can travel on in the river by the Nile.
So this is the Shapti right over here, and he would rise, and this is what he would do. And if this was Ani Shapti, it would have Ani's name over here. So this was his prayer to the Shapti to rise. So there you go. That's the prayer of the Shapti in chapter 151 of play three of the Book of the Dead. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll try to do some more of these videos uh, so we can enjoy together and learn a little bit about the hieroglyphs. Thank you.